Hi everyone, I'm Adam, and this is Apatia News. The following video and footage that you're looking at was taken over the weekend and took place after the photos of what appear to be people handling sea animals on the ocean floor near Golan went viral on Facebook groups and other Thai social media over the weekend. Many people, including the Minister of the Environment, stated that they were, quote, outraged overseeing the photos, which contain a variety of sea animals in the area. Now, this is definitely not the first time that photos of people handling sea animals, which is against Thai law and, according to Thai officials, goes ahead and breaks the Wildlife Conservation and Protection Acts, Coastal Resources Management Promotion Acts, and other various laws. In fact, some of our readers and watchers may remember that not too long ago, some foreign expats who had lived for some time in Thailand had also been seen on video handling sea animals and actually were deported over the incident, which caused many, many comments on social media, both for and against, with a slight majority seeming to believe that the consequences for the actions were more strong than they should have been. Regardless, in this recent incident, it appears that the people in the photo, according to authorities, may be domestic Thai tourists, so any sort of deportation obviously wouldn't take place. According to officials, after seeing the photos, they went to the various Seawalker boat companies in Pattaya, in which there's about 23 separate operators in the area overall. Now, they had a group meeting with the operators, who were not going to reveal their specific businesses, as according to uh, Mr. Puchong Saradichakul, uh, who had investigated the Seawalker operators and is the director of Marine and Coastal Resources in Region 2, According to Mr. Puchong, he stated that the Seawalker organizations were very willing to go ahead and to work with them over it, and he does not believe at this point that they were necessarily liable, but that the Seawalker tourists themselves went ahead and took action, quote, into their own hands, taking pictures with the animals, even though... According to the Seawalker operators, they tell people multiple times they should not touch the animals under any circumstances whatsoever. At this point, according to Mr. Puchong, uh, the Seawalker operators are working with city officials to go ahead and identify the tourists that were seen in the pictures who will face charges of allegedly offending the Wildlife Conservation and Protection Act, which could bring very strict fines and even prison time. We'll give any updates here at the Patia News on when and if this situation is resolved. As always, we thank you for watching.